Okay, so here we are back from um, iPhone 6 Plus Touch IC Repair Part 2 So now obviously we have Touch uh, after the IC replacement So as you can see, that was a little corporate um, That's a little Touch IC that didn't work So yeah, I don't think the silver ones ever changed um, It's mostly the black uh, Touch IC the Texas Instrument one that has problem and as you can see I can get touch working again on this phone which is pretty cool uh, this phone camping doesn't even turn on so it took me a while to get it turned on in the first place uh, and then because it was sending for touch IC repair um, it, it doesn't have any touch as you can see from part 1 video and so what I did was that I took out the board and I replaced the touch IC they the solder on it is really bad um, and also I'm guessing inside the chip is also using an insane solder so hence over time it shorts itself and when it does short it has it has the dials inside the integrated chip so every so often it shorts itself um, eventually it's gonna fry one of the dials inside the chip and that's when you need it absolutely needed to replace it and that's the only way to get it to work. Um, one way to avoid this happen again is to um, don't heat out your phone too much, I guess. Like, or like it may just have to replace it again because I'm not sure if the replacement um, test instrument chip is any different than original. It's made by the same manufacturer. Uh, hopefully, they maybe the later uh, production patch they solved this problem, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, just don't don't keep your phone in a really tight case and don't overheat it by playing I don't know video games on it. Um, but the after you replace it, as at least for me, because uh, I use leather solder, your problem is gonna have you're not gonna have the same kind of problem as before. Um, so I guess it's not gonna it's not gonna go bad because if you replace it, because as long as you use leather solder instead of just the original lead free solder that came with. Um, you just need to mix a little lead into it. Um, so the tin solder, the left free tin, mostly tin based solder, doesn't create little microscopic uh, tentacles, like little whiskers um, that shorts out the chip. So as long as you do that, this problem shouldn't come back again uh, in the lifetime of this phone. Something else is gonna break before that happens. So, anyways, um, I just want to make a really quick documentation video don't do this at home um, I'm not responsible what you do to your phone so if you're gonna do soldering or blow hot air onto it it's at your own risk this is for my documentation only and this is how you how I fix the, the touch screen on an iPhone 6 plus Ta -da! okay thank you for watching and Obviously, I don't have the passcode for this phone, so it's gonna lock on itself. I keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna send this back to the customer and thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, the screen is a little bit dark on the side because this is my ta ta ah, test screen. It's I use it so much, I blow out one of the LED on the screen itself, not the board. So that's the only issue of the screen. That's why it become my touch uh, test screen. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna turn off the phone normally this time. And as you can see, the color also is very good on the phone. Uh, I don't know if I can... I'm not sure if I can get the brightness up. Yeah, I don't think I can. But anyway, as you can see, there's no lines on the screen anymore. It's just... There's no zebra line. So zebra lines is a telltale sign of a touchscreen problem. Okay, thank you for watching. See you in my next repair. That's the little thing you want to replace. Oh, and you can buy these on my website as well. It's the Touch IC for iPhone 6 Plus and 6. Bye.